I'm Anil Kumar and in this video we'll analyze discontinuity of the function because of vertical asymptote. The question here is check the discontinuity and state the equation of any vertical asymptote for the function f of x equals to x plus 1 divided by x minus 1. Conduct a limit test to determine the behavior of the curve on either side of the asymptote. So we are given the function f of x equals to x plus 1 over x minus 1. Now vertical asymptote will exist if denominator is 0 and numerator is not 0 for the same value. right? So for vertical asymptote what we have is that x minus 1 equals to 0. That gives us the condition. So that really means x equals to 0 is the equation of a line which is going to be the vertical asymptote for the given function right now if you want to sketch this function then what we can do is we can first sketch the vertical asymptote itself so vertical asymptote is at x equals to i'm sorry one right so when you take one on this side so the vertical asymptote is at x equals to one so that is the line which represents vertical asymptotes. Now second part of this question is conduct a limit test to determine behavior of the curve on either side of the asymptote. So, so what we need to test is limit of the function f of x as x approaches the vertical asymptote from both sides left and right. So we write 1 negative that means from left side do you see that. So we need to figure out when the function approaches 1 from the left side then the limit approaches positive negative positive infinity or negative infinity right so in this case we need to find when the function approaches 1 from the left side then graph of the function approaches negative infinity or positive infinity that we can do by testing on either side of the function right so, so what we do in this case is we test on either side of 1 so we have x equals to 1 so we can take a point which is on left side of 1 let us say 0 0.9 and on the right side we can have a point 1.1 so if I substitute point 9 in the function then what happens let us do that. So minus 1 means left side. So I'll substitute 0 0.9 plus 1 divided by 0 0.9 minus 1. Clearly what we have here is a positive value. We are not really interested in the number but we are interested in the sign. So it is a positive value in the numerator divided by negative value in the denominator. So that really means we are approaching negative infinity. Do you see that? So we can say limit of the function as x approaches 1 from negative side is negative infinity. Similarly, we can find limit of the function as x approaches 1 from the positive side, right? That is to say, you can substitute 1.1 and see whether you are approaching a high positive or negative value. So in this function, if I write 1.1 plus 1 divided by 1.1 minus 1, I get a positive value in the numerator and a positive value in the denominator also. So that approaches positive infinity. Do you see that? So on the diagram we say that the graph of the function approaches negative infinity when you are approaching x from the left side of vertical asymptote at x equals to 1 and it approaches positive infinity when you approach from the right side. So this is called behavior near the asymptote, near the vertical asymptote, right? So that's what we mean. What is the behavior of the curve on either side of the asymptote? That is what we're trying to check here, right? So this is what it is. Now, as a practice, what you can do now here is you can go ahead, find horizontal asymptotes. Now, horizontal asymptotes will be at as x approaches infinity. For this function, as x approaches infinity, 
the function f of x limit I should say as x approaches infinity since the coefficients are 1 and 1 degrees are same so it is coefficient ratio which will be equals to 1 right so the function approaches 1 right even when x approaches negative infinity negatively large number f of x will approach plus 1 right so that is the horizontal asymptote so as an exercise you can find the behavior near the horizontal asymptote right so then what you really have to do is substitute a value which is large positive and large negative right so if you have a large positive value here then you will see both are positive so we can say if you are approaching x large value it is approaching one but from higher side do you understand it will be bigger than one greater than one right if you can calculate this value but if you substitute negative infinity right so if I write a negative large value in that case denominator is going to be bigger than the numerator so what we will get is a value which is neg which both are negative which is less than one so we'll say it is approaching negative that will mean really that when you are approaching negative infinity you are approaching from the negative side and on the positive you are approaching that side you can always complete the graph by finding the y-intercept which in this case will be 1 divided by minus 1 or minus 1 so kind of graph will be kind of like this right so you could sketch a graph like this anyway the main purpose of this video was to understand behavior near the vertical asymptote. I hope that is clear. We'll further discuss horizontal asymptotes and the behavior or the end behavior in further details in coming videos. I hope that gives you a good idea. Thank you and all the best.